The official opening of Namibian Heritage Week 2024 at the Eventic City Museum marks a significant celebration of culture and community. Under the theme, Gemeenskap is Kultuur, Kultuur is Gemeenskap, which translates to Community is Culture and Culture is Community. This event, led by Esther Anangipondoka, Minister of Education, Arts and Culture, emphasizes the importance of heritage in education and community engagement. The week-long festivities aims to unite Namibians in embracing their diverse cultural identities and highlights the role of youth in preserving and celebrating their heritage. As part of this commemoration, the city of Vintuk has planned three days of activities for this year's event. And joining us to tell us all about this from the city is Mr. Henry Nakale, the assistant curator from the Vintuk City Museum. Mr. Nakale, good evening and welcome to the Daily Roundup. Good evening, Nina, <laughs> and thank you for having me. Mr. Nakale, talk to us about the theme, Gemeenskap is Kultuur, Kultuur is Gemeenskap, and how this theme resonates with Vintuk's uh, current cultural scene? Well, uh, this year's theme, I'm sorry, my Africans is not that good, which is uh, <laughs> Kaltir is Gemeenskap and Gemeenskap is Kaltir, basically emphasizes the deep relationship between community and culture. Mm -hmm. So basically it highlights how they shape and sustain each other. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Vintuk is known as uh, a diverse cultural city. So the, this year's theme highlights the importance of unity within diversity and as well as recognizing each community con contributes to the broader cultural identity of our city. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Talk to us about some of the key initiatives this year to get young people actively involved in you know, preserving our heritage. Well, uh, we have planned three activities for this year's Heritage Week. We, whereby we kicked off with the official launch yesterday, as you have alluded earlier. So today we had uh, city guided tours, whereby we have uh, invited several primary schools to do a guided uh, city tour, basically, basically from the city museum, uh, the parliament, as well as uh, the fire brigade and our water reclamation plant. Mm -hmm. So these initiatives are aimed at, at the Eating the youth about urban and rural heritage, mm -hmm. as well as in, instilling some sense of uh, belonging and also to promote uh, pride in preserving our heritage. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. What challenges can you speak to us uh, tonight, you know, in the area of uh, coming when it comes to preserving cultural heritage? And how do you think, you know, events such as Heritage Week can help uh, tackle those challenges? Well, uh, I think the challenges that we are faced with in promoting and preserving our heritage, mostly within the city, is uh, rapid urbanization and modernization. So, uh, campaigns like uh, Heritage Week will raise awareness about the importance of preserving historic buildings, cultural landmarks, and promote sustainable urban planning as well. Mm -hmm which are erased by urbanization. In what ways can the local communities get involved in Heritage Week, Mr. Nakale, and how can they benefit from the events that will be taking place this week? Well, there are a lot of uh, events planned countrywide. So local, local communities can uh, partake in, in this year's Heritage Week by uh, for example, the partaking in the traditional crafts workshops, which will enhance their their skills and pass on their, their skills to the future generations. So, in in return, this will then uh, ensure them to start up uh, little businesses about uh, traditional cuisine and all traditional dances. Very lastly, before we release you, how can local artists, uh, you know, contributing to this year's celebrations, um, or how are local artists rather contributing to this year's celebration? Is also, what role do you think they can play in shaping um, community identity? Well, uh, like for us at the City Museum this year, we have invited a local artist by the name Pingalo Sinyama, 
is a visual artist. So he will be facilitating the visual art workshop as well as the scavenger hunt that we planning to host on Thursday and Friday at the, at the museum. So he was involved from the onset. We it's it's we took his ideas. So he would facilitate the whole workshop. So in and then um, his involvement will strengthen community identity by connecting these youth or these individuals to their to their heritage. Mm -hmm. Any final remarks for our viewers uh, uh, watching this evening as to why they should involve themselves in the activities happening this weekend and what's there to look forward to with uh, Heritage Week 2024? Well, uh, there are a lot of activities planned countrywide. So the Heritage Week team is planning to host about 80 activities throughout all the 14 regions. So I encourage all our viewers to actively partake in this week's heritage, in, in this year's heritage week. So I'm going to take time to reflect on the deep connections that bind us through our shared heritage and identity. Mm -hmm. Mr. Nakale, we appreciate your time. Thank you so much for speaking to us this evening. Thanks for having me, Nina. That was uh, Mr. Henry Nakale speaking to us on Heritage Week 2024 that will be taking place with a host of activities across all 14 regions for the entire week.